Good morning, good afternoon, oh good evening, my subscribers on YouTube, my peeps on Facebook, and everybody at House of Nerdum. It is the DOUG here once again for its continuation of the WWF Smackdown Let's Play. We are in part number 10. Now before I get into season mode, apparently sometime after Monday when, was, when part 9 was put up, uh, one of my friends decided to fuck with me. And he made new, three new champions. The Tag Team, European, and Hardcore Champions. Now, of course, in the last part, as you recall, these titles were held by Triple H and, S, Triple H and Mr. S, Test, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, luckily, he was smart enough that apparently either he knew I was doing a Let's Play or she didn't want to piss me off. Uh, Big Show and myself were left as the WWF and Intercontinental Champion, respectively, and Deborah is still the Women's Champion. But, the other three titles he changed. Now the Tag Team Champions are Steve Blackman and Mr. Ass. Godfather is now the European Champion. And for some weird coincidence, he went from Big Boss Man to Mankind as the Hardcore Champion. A little upset by that, he did that, but... Hey, maybe I'll we'll actually see those titles defended more in season mode now. So we shall see, since we know Mankind does get used a lot. So maybe we'll see more title title changes, at least with the hardcore title. But I'm still kind of upset for that, but hey, nothing I can do because I'm not starting over. So let's continue. We are at SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. Even though I thought it was a house show last time. Oh, well. Golden rankings, as you can see, I am fifth. I thought I was ahead of Big Show. Oh, well. And I think these points change. I, th I think for some reason the booking changes. Every time I load it up, I'm like, yeah, we're going to fuck with you, man. We're going to change the rankings for no fucking reason. And I think because him doing the matches kind of fucks shit up. Anyway, let's get to the matches on SmackDown. We start off with Steve Blackman versus D'Lo Brown. The Dully Boys versus the McMahons. Val Venus versus Edge. I take on... The New Age Outlaws and Al Snow in a three-on-one match. Fuck you, Eric Bischoff and Vince Rousseau. Ken Shamrock vs. Jericho Kane and Triple H in a four-way. And in the main event, The Undertaker takes on The Rock in a steel cage. D'Lo Brown defeats Blackman. The McMahons defeat the Deadlies. Val Venus defeats Edge. And now it's time for the three-on-one match. I hate these matches! Why? I'm telling you, I think the booking in this game has out for me. They don't want me to succeed. Period. Fucking period, man. You didn't know... Everybody's better call somebody. Yeah, so we got myself taking on Billy Gunn, the Lodi, and Leaf Cassidy. Yes, Leaf Cassidy. Remember, I was going to used to be part of the new Rockers if you forgot that. Unfortunately, I did not. Uh, I have a feeling I'm losing this because, as we know, my track record with the three and ones, they take a while. They're not my favorites. Mostly because of that. Uh, what's in the news today? Well, the NBA All-Star break is officially upon us. Uh, the Celebrity All-Star game is tonight, which I will be watching. Of course, uh... Elimination Chamber match was just added this week. Uh, it will be Batista taking on Abato da Which I do not like only because of the fact that I know W is getting screwed in that match. I don't like to, I don't want it to happen, but I know that's what's gonna happen. He ain't winning. Period. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, TNA last night, because 
like I said, I'm doing this on Valentine's Day. If it's not uploaded on Valentine's Day, I do apologize. So happy Valentine's Day first. Unless you're single, then go watch the Valentine's Day Massacre pay-per-view. Anyway, uh, TNA last night was actually somewhat of a decent show. Granted, I felt confused with some of the matches, only because they didn't make sense to me, but hey, to each their own. But the main event was pretty good, but you know, when it comes to cas casket matches, I'm sorry. Undertaker should be the only one to do them, but that's just my opinion. No shit right on roll for you, bitch. Ow. Yeah, if I win this match, I'm going to be shocked. How the hell was that a brain bust? Or I don't, was he even stunned? Oh yeah, that's right, I have it as a normal. On Pedro Slam, bitches! Woo! Bury the belly! Ah, right into a goddamn headlock punch. Fuck you, Mr. Fuck you, Billy Gun. Get the fuck out of here. Close line from hell on Al Snow. And Al Snow gets tossed out of the ring, and I'm going after the road dog. Going after the going after the roadie. King Roadie? Hey look, I know I'm back a butt just like the Rio does. And good Goodbye, Road Dog. I don't know why Al Snow's staying on the outside of the ring, but oh well. He wants to be mentally stupid, he can be my guest. Ah Just got three reviews done as well. The, those three reviews will be uploaded before this, so yay. Uh, anyway, it's Friday. Like I said, I'm going to be watching the Celebrity All-Star Game tonight for basketball. Hopefully, Mike, Greeny, uh, Mike Greenberg and Mike Gola can uh, actually do good tonight because I will be cheering both of them on. On ball. That would be funny if he would have tapped out there. Bear to belly. Bury the belly, Scott Steiner in the house. It's a human suplex machine, Doug Barrett. Boom. I was whooping up on everybody. I'm, I'm actually winning. That's a, sh that's a shocker to me. Oh, clothesline. Yay, clothesline. Yeah, I don't know why I did a fisherman suplex. That was stupid. That was a waste of time and intelligence on my part. Well, after this, we know WrestleMania comes up next. Whoa, break my ass. I'm paying a slam. Yeah, I love that move. Human suplex machine. Scott Steiner time. Woo! Now, of course, uh, tomorrow, being Saturday, I'm actually going to the movies to see Lego Movie. So, yes, there will be a review of that. Alright, I got two specials. Hopefully, I can hit it on two of them and it will knock out one of them. Keyword, I have to hit it on two of them. Let's get Low Dog out of the ring. Let's get Al Snow out of the ring. Hit him on Mr. Ass and hopefully it knocks him out. No, it does not. God damn. It's at number two. Damn, Mr. Ass does not want to get knocked out of the does not want to get knocked out. That's some horse shit. <laughs> and now everybody's outside of the ring with me. I'm the king of the world. Woo! Someone's gonna come into the ring. No, oh, fuck it. Wee! I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit Low Dog with my monkey flip. I'm gonna make you humble. Oh, what the hell! I big booted that motherfucker.
Torture red, bitch. By the way, that's my chair squeaking. Damn, well, damn, what is with everybody not wanting to tap out today? If this ends in a draw, I'm going to be highly upset. It's the Scott Stana Palooza Hour. Make you humble with the Kimmel Clutch. God damn. Ah, oh, fuck you, old dog. At least, it was, at least I landed on the outside of the rig. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. You bulldog to your face. Ah, no. Ow, ow. That was not funny. Seriously, game? Wow, that... That was... Oh, come on! See, this is... Kick out! Kick out! Damn! What? Seriously, that was bullshit if I would have lost like that, man. Uh, uh, you, hit your own, you hit your own partner, you idiot. Good job, dummy. You big dummy. Oh, come on. That big boot did not connect. you got to be fucking kidding me. No. Hold on. Oh, come on. They robbed me of that special. That should have connected. I hit the power clothesline, but not on the right guy. Oh, come on. Bulldog. Pin? What the? I did not want to pin him. That was bullshit. The game is purposely fucking me now. Oh, okay, now this is pissing me off. You get out of here. Fuck you, and stop taunting. What the hell? Why did you fucking scoop slam really game? Oh, come on. I wasn't even up. Wow, really game. Oh, come on. That didn't even hit. Really? Wow. Fuck the booking. That's bullshit. Fuck you, Al Snow. Fuck you, Billy Gunn, and Mr. Asko, fuck yourself. I'm sorry for cussing, but come on. That was bullshit. Oh, oh no wonder they won. Triple H won. That's why Triple H booked himself and his cronies to win. And I guarantee you they knocked me out of the top five in ranking. Yeah, it did. Bullshit. And we start off WrestleMania, Paul Bell vs. Vince McMahon. D-Lo vs. Test, Double vs. China, Triple H Godfather and Al Snow in a three-way, Big Show vs. Undertaker in an I Quit match, and I Take on Mankind, so no title matches. Worst WrestleMania card ever. Well, okay, the woman's title. Worst WrestleMania card ever. And of course, well, no one, okay, no wonder Vince McMahon, China, one, because Test booked himself, because Triple H booked himself to win. Still can't believe that I lost a triple threat match, really. Really, that makes me angry. Come for some reason I'm fighting mankind again. I don't know why. I think I've been fighting him every fucking video. I think, and one, one time or another. Uh, well, hopefully this one will get me back up into the top five in rankings. But damn, when the 2002 now to O2 going starting the after this will be starting our last season, the O2 and O3 season. And I have not had a single title match in season mode. Well, let me rephrase that. 
I've had title matches in single mode, in season mode, when I'm losing the title in fatal fucking four ways. Because the booking, aka Vince Rousseau and Ed Bischoff, hate me. God, I hope that doesn't happen in the WWF SmackDown 2 Let's Play. That would really make me angry. Then we'll probably see more title matches in that one than we've seen him. Well, let's be honest, we know who's booking this. Vince Russo, Ed Bischoff, Triple H, because they're making sure their little click wins, a.k.a. DX. That's right, fucking Xbox been in the fucking title picture more times than I have. That's right, Triple H and Mr. Ass were the fucking tag team champions for so god dang long. Oi. Reverse Brain Buster! I'm angry. Sorry, man, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm angry because I think I should've won that three, I'm sorry, I still think I should've won that three and one. I still can't believe I got pinned? With not even getting hit by the famous off the top rope, they didn't even connect. It fucking missed, and they still counted it as this ain't it hit me. Oh, that pisses me off. Okay, I'll beat McFly. I didn't knock him out, but I got the pinfall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's what is called the World's WrestleMania match in the history of mankind when the when the main event's not even a title match. And the only title match you have on the card is a still cage match for the women's title. Triple H, you are a bad booker. And look, the Dudley boys, what are they talking about? Probably like, man, fuck this. Man, fuck this game. I hope Triple H ain't booking in SmackDown 2 yet, yeah, because if he is, we're going to TNA Wrestling. <laughs> oh, man, I have to book. I know, I, you know, I don't know who's booking this. I think it's Vince Russo, Ed Bischoff, and Triple H, because it's made no sense. Congratulations! You cannot create Prince Albert, right? Ain't that just great? No, oh, we may as well do one more match, and of course it's going to be SmackDown. Check the rankings. Okay, I beat Mankind, and yet I lose points. Seriously? Mm, I don't think I'm ever going to get that WWF title match. Chris Jericho takes on Gangrel. Test Mankind, Al Snow, and Road Dog in a four-way dance. Farouk versus Edge. I defend... What the fuck is with x Pac? Well, at least it's a one-on-one -on -one match and Shane McMahon's the referee. Triple H versus The Rock and Big Show versus Stone Cold for the WWF title. So great. Instead of doing the two title matches on WrestleMania, we do them on SmackDown. That shows you somebody in the booking office is not doing their job. Jericho defeats Gangrel. Mankind wins the Fatal 4 Uh-oh. Who the hell? It's the APA! I know what they're talking about. I am a wrestling god and... Damn! Yo, man, you wanna go get some beer tonight? Yeah, damn! Beer's good, damn! What? Damn! Farouk defeats Edge, and now time for the IC title match. Is Shane McMahon going to do what's sm right for business and help me? Or is he going to fuck me over and give the belt to X-Pac again? I mean, shit, x 
Xbox been a thorn in my side this whole goddamn let's play. Fuck you, Xbox. No one likes you. That's why you. That's why you're the only. D, that's why you're one of the two DX members not to come back yet. Okay, Shane. Time to do what's smart for business and help me. Do what's right for business. Do what's right for business. Put me over. <laughs> I feel, I'm starting to feel like I'm the Daniel Bryan of this fucking game. Are you seriously going to get back in the main Xbox? I mean, holy shit. The Diving Moon Sword hit, ladies and gentlemen. That's just fucking funny. I'm gonna slam, bitch. Jack Knight Power Bomb. Woo! Hopefully we can end this this part on a high note. We can at least go two and one in victories this in this video. Particularly since this is a title match in season mode, because every time I've had to defend the Intercontinental title, Xbox has either won the title after I did all the work, or cost me the title after he decided to get to lose to somebody else because he's a bitch. I'm gonna whip your asshole open! I'm getting my revenge, I'm finally gonna beat your Xbox when the title's on the line in season mode, and I have to do it all the when it's non season! Fisherman Suplex! Oh, great. Now, Shane, at least Shane's not screwing me yet. Jackknife Powerbomb! Spinebuster! Wow, seriously? Arm ball. Big boot. In the Dominator. Count it, chain. One, two, three. Yeah! I finally get my redemption on X Pac! I finally get it! I finally beat him with the t when my title's on the line in season mode. Finally! And yes, that's me. Yay! Uh, yay! Oh my God! You mean to tell me Drew Brees didn't book himself to win? And he didn't pick Road Dog to win either? And Big Show's still a WWF champion. That that's weird. I mean, shit, he's not lost that fucking title yet. It makes no sense. Uh, at least with that one, I move up a bit. I'm behind Austin. And Shamrock's still dominating. And dead last is Paul Bearer. And Al Snow, thanks to beating me, you got the number 20. Good for you, you bastard. Well, that's it for this part, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, this is the Dewey UG signing off saying have a good day. And I'll see you next time, folks. Woo! And the booking in this game sucks!